Hello everyone, my name is Brian and this is my tutorial on making an action figure. These are the tools I use. Here's my calipers. I have a, a soft eraser that I've had forever. Another different type of caliper. I've got some triangles, small rulers. As you can tell I even have a bunch of different pencils with different colors. I like my mechanical pencils at a .05. I also have some uh, pencil erasers you'll see here, uh, some black pens, and I use um, different colors to represent the different leads that I have in them. So one will have a blue lead, one will have a red lead, one will have a soft and a hard. I even have mock-ups of my uh, piece that I want to draw. I have a small Alvin Architects ruler, so this way I can make things to scale. And it, uh, it helps me with keeping things in my small uh, sketchbook. And I like to sketch out all my designs ahead of time to show the different types of joints I'm making. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, different calipers and stuff. I even have a G.I. Joe in the back so that I can look at their different ideas. Here's some different mock-ups that I have. Uh, this was a mock-up of a teddy bear I did. As you can see, I have peg joints that I made that I carved into it. This way I can mold it later. I have a protractor so that I can see what different angles. This way when I make um, another one from this mock-up that's going to be sliced in half and gut it out, you can see that there's different types of um, angles that are going to be used. And I want to make sure that they're right so that I get the proper angle. So here's the designs for my toy. I went through and did these in my sketchbook. Um, now this is from a web comic that I drew. So this is an original design. And I started by sketching it out, how it looked in the background. And then I wanted to show like, you know, just different ways that I'm going to separate it. Um, these were going to be some peg holes for the legs. Uh, different types of slots that are going to be in the legs. As you can see, I have some sketches in the background. So, I also uh, make sure to take detailed uh, measurements with the caliper, and then I, I go over to the to my ruler so that I can see what I'm looking. Uh, this was the very first mock-up I did of Frank the Alien, and uh, this was the second teddy bear. This was the first teddy bear, which kind of looks like a little rabbit. Um, and I didn't like it how it looked so I went through and I made a second one that had a lot more detail and I might even make a third one because I feel like the second one kind of came out too big and I might put lay, uh, pegs in for the legs uh, the legs right now are in a fixed on the the second teddy bear that I did so here's the first design that I did um, it's got toothpicks to hold it uh, the head in place it has no uh, support structure in it and with the second one I actually have an armature inside so the head comes off it has a peg and it actually has aluminum foil inside it's the ball of the head so as you see right there you can see that I have some aluminum foil inside there and I just used uh, I think a drill bit to um, you know carve out the the stuff I made better looking eyes. You can't really see from this, this poor video quality, um, which I'll work on in future videos, but I also made some better ears. Um, you know, it kind of looks more natural, more realistic. Um, and as you can see in here, the legs are fixed, so they, they just stay in that one position. And I feel like they're really kind of long for the body. Um, I'd rather, much rather have them shorter. Uh, I added a texture to this bear. So uh, there's hair all over it. He's got a little tail. Um, whereas my other one, he didn't have any of that stuff. So, and then I made each individual arm. Um, again, sorry about the poor quality, but you can see that I have paws um, on these, this one and where the other ones I did not. And you can actually see the metal wire hanging out from the armature that I used inside. And this way it gave the bear um, the ability to hold its uh, its position while I was carving um, and ultimately boiling it so it didn't you know fall apart on me uh, the other one you know the arms had to be real short and stuff like that because it would just fall apart 
uh, if you don't have an armature inside of it. And it's solid Sculpey, the other one. So, you know, boiling it made it a lot harder. Um, you know, the smaller, thinner pieces, you know, become brittle because they've been in longer because you have to wait for the thicker pieces to harden up. So here you can see the posts that I've I've carved out of the Sculpey so that they go inside. So on my side view of Frank the Alien, you can see where I was going to put the, the holes and the pegs. And you'll see that I've changed my design. And changing your design when you're working isn't always a bad thing. Um, you know, I do these so that I can figure it out. Well, thank you, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks.